NVK Workflow is three different sets of Reaper scripts, which all work together to create an extremely fast game audio workflow. In this video, I will just quickly go through the workflow, but I'll post some more videos later, which go into more depth for each of the different sets of scripts. But basically what this workflow ends up looking like, let's say you have a sound that you're working on, uh, maybe it's a UI click, and you've dragged in some content you want to use. Using the scripts, I'm going to just trim it, and then it's also going to embed these take markers, which allow you to quickly shuffle through all the different variations. So as I'm making the sound, I can pick which one I like and then make changes. I can align them by the snap offsets if I want. Maybe I pitch everything up as a group. And then once I'm happy with that, if I want to render, I can just select it and then add it to a folder and create this folder item, which allows me to render these without having to create a region or anything like that. So I'll just name this. And if I just want to make this one sound, I can just render right now. So I've rendered it, and then it's also imported a copy of it into your project um, and put it in this renders folder, which you can close if you want. So it's important that this is a copy because if you um, don't make a copy of the item and you try to render again into whatever folder you're rendering to, uh, you won't be able to because you can't overwrite files that Reaper has open. But this script handles all that for you. So you can have this item in your project. It, maybe you want to use it for a different sound, or maybe you make variations and um, you actually, or, or maybe you make a new version and you decide you want to go back to the old version after listening to it in game or whatever. So you have it all there in your project and you can tuck it away if you want. So when I need to make variations, it's actually really easy. As I mentioned earlier, there's these take markers that are in the items and I have a script which allows you to duplicate and then it selects the next take marker. So it's essentially going through the different variations already. So I just made six variations. <coughs> And they all have a different version of each layer in them. So that's great. So once you do that, you can make any adjustments you want. Uh, if you, you hover over these folder items and run my pitch script, it actually pitches them all as a group. And the neat thing about it is that these will uh, move as though you're actually just pitching one item. And you can still just go and pitch each individual one if you want to. And I also have scripts that will line things up for you easily. There's scripts that will split and delete and add fades and they work on individual or folder items as groups too so it's a really nice set of scripts that makes this workflow incredibly fast it allows you to be really flexible with your projects so let's say i am done with this sound i can just close it up add a new track and um i'll just use this content for the next one too just to make it quicker but let's say I'm making something that's a little bit shorter here and I want it to just be um, a layer that I use. So I could line it up here and then add these to their own folder and say, rename this. And what's cool about this is I can actually render all these at the same time. So I'm like, regions, you don't have to solo anything or uh, mute a track. Um, you can just select them all and then render. And now if I open up my renders folder, you can see it's rendered these. They're all named exactly the same as in your project and split up. I've also added some features that are great for when you're making a sound library and you want to have these as one big sausage file. You can just change this sausage file setting to one. And then now when it renders, it's going to remove the O1 and actually just make these one file. So it's an extremely quick workflow. Um, I highly recommend checking it out. And uh, I'll, like I said, I'll, I'll, I'll make more videos which go into detail about how I'm actually doing all this and what scripts I'm using and the settings and stuff. So yeah, that's NVK workflow. Thanks for watching. Okay, so after I finished recording this, I realized I forgot to mention sub projects. There's also a script in here which allows you to put these in a sub project really quickly. So if I select this and then 
run the sub project script. It's now created a sub project with these folder items and you can open up, even if you click, let's say I want to work on the fourth variation, I click on that and then it brings me right into there in the sub project. And if I make any changes, I can, like, let's say I make this longer, I can easily fix the, the markers then save and go back here. And when I'm ready to re-render, I just run the sub project script again. And as you can see, it's automatically fixed them in the project. So I'll, I'll go into more detail on that in the uh, sub project video, but that's also a part of NVK workflow.